ask some of my artist friends on Facebook to get, come up with a title or make suggestions for a title for this piece. And several, you know, posing for uh, Curtis, uh, smiling for Curtis. Uh, you know, C uh, Curtis uh, was a uh, photographer who pho photographed a lot of Native Americans back in the turn of the century in the late 1800s, I think. Well, but one uh, artist suggested a word that I think he said the Smithsonian uh, wrote something about. Uh, it's a word called survivance, and it's a French derivative. And what it refers to is history is known by the last person to write the history, and, uh, and that's survivance. Uh, the photo photograph taken by a photographer of Native Americans in the eight, early 1800s or uh, late 1800s or early 1900s, uh, it's a form of survivance, uh, their traditions surviving uh, through the photograph, although those, those traditions could be manipulated by the photographer. And uh, this gentleman here that I'm sculpting, this is a blow up of the guy that I'm working from, he uh, could have been dressed up this way when he came into the studio and he could have been carrying the feather, but uh, in some cases, especially in the latter part of the 1800s, um, people, photographers, were making lots of money, and Indians as well, off of postcards taking pictures of themselves. This is with a group of other Native Americans. I cut them out because I'm just concentrating on him. And these guys are obviously back east uh, uh, attending a peace conference or some kind of thing, council with the uh, government officials. But when he went in the studio, he may have not been glamorous enough to uh, sell postcards. So the photographer could have dressed up the photograph by handing him a feather to hold because he probably didn't have anything and uh, maybe even sticking a feather in his head, and or even supplying the blanket. Uh, I don't know, I mean, that's what we, that's I have to, I have to be skeptical about what I see, and as far as interpreting, as far as interpreting what uh, these people actually look like at that period of time. Now this is a great photograph here. It was taken outdoors, and uh, I have a feeling it's probably a little more reliable as far as clothing and and items that he would be carrying. Um, these are Cheyenne leaders and uh, in Washington, D.C. And what was really interesting is right back here, just over his shoulder, I, there's a little girl right there looking out at this scene. How fascinating that must have been for her. And when she tells a story about it, she'll be telling her version of survivance of that period because she'd be the last person to tell about it. I wonder if she ever wrote about that. It's interesting. It's the only photograph I've ever found uh, like that. So that's why I'm calling this survivance because I'm creating a survivance to, to a certain extent of them, even though these are people that I've never, these are out of my head as far as the faces go, and clothing and all that stuff, so it's, I'm writing a survivance in this clay, so to speak. I hope you understand what that means. So that's the word for the day, survivance. Well, I think what I'm going to do is uh, work on his head right now. And I've got the jig that I set up. Right here. Alright, first thing I'm going to do is remove his head from the body. Turn away if this is too gruesome for you to watch. There we go. And I put that down in there. I have to reposition. 
position this thing because it's gotten out of the whack here. There we go. So now I've got it mounted in this uh, piece of wood and I can turn the, the head and work on it with my hand. I'm going to go ahead and start here. the head as far as I'm going to take it right now and I'm going to reattach it now onto the body
wasn't too bad on there. Just have to angle it properly. Where I'm putting these feathers, <coughs> doesn't necessarily have a meaning to where their, their positioning is.
I'm just going by feeling, basically, and not necessarily by any photograph. Well, I think I'm going to part ways with this for the weekend. Fourth uh, of July is coming up this weekend, and uh, I think I'm going to come back next week, take a look at it, see, see how I feel, and uh, go from there. All right, all of you. Hope you have a nice, safe Fourth uh, of July, and I hope you. Eat lots of hot dogs and wave a lot of flags.